Walter Bradford Cannon was an American physiologist, professor and chairman of the Department of Physiology at Harvard Medical School. He coined the term fight-or-flight response, and he expanded on Claude Bernard's concept of homeostasis. He popularized his theories in his book The Wisdom of the Body, first published in 1932. A review of General Psychology Survey, published in 2002, ranked Cannon as the 81st most cited scholar of the 20th century in technical psychology journals, introductory psychology textbooks, and survey responses. Biography Cannon was born in Prairie du Chien, Wisconsin on October 19, 1871, the son of Colbert Hanchett Cannon and his wife Wilma Denio. In his autobiography, The Way of an Investigator, Cannon counts himself among the descendants of Jacques de Noyon. His Calvinist family was intellectually active, including readings from James Martineau, John Fiske, and James Freeman Clark. Cannon's curiosity also led him to Thomas Henry Huxley, John Tyndall, George Henry Lewis, and William Kingdon Clifford. A high school teacher, Mary Jeanette Newson, became his mentor. Miss May, Newson motivated and helped him take his academic skills to Harvard University. In 1896, his first year at Harvard Medical School, he started working in Bowditch's lab, and in 1900 he received his medical degree. After graduation, Cannon was hired by Harvard to instruct in the Department of Physiology. He was a close friend of the physicist G. W. Pierce. They founded the WICHT Club with other young instructors for social and professional purposes. In 1906 Cannon became Higginson Professor and Chairman of the Department of Physiology at Harvard Medical School, a position he held until 1942. From 1914 to 1916 he was also President of the American Physiological Society. He was married to Cornelia James Cannon, a best-selling author and feminist reformer. Although not mountaineers, during their honeymoon in Montana the couple were the first, on July 19, 1901, to reach the summit of the unclimbed southwest peak of Goat Mountain, between Lake McDonald and Logan Pass in what is now Glacier National Park. The peak was subsequently named Mount Cannon by the United States Geological Survey. The couple had five children. One son was Dr. Bradford Cannon, a military plastic surgeon and radiation researcher. The daughters are Wilma Cannon Fairbank, Linda Cannon Burgess, Helen Cannon Bond and Marion Cannon Schlesinger, a painter and author living in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Walter Cannon died on October 1, 1945 in Franklin, New Hampshire. Work Walter Cannon began his career in science as a Harvard undergraduate in the year 1896. Henry Pickering Bowditch, who had worked with Claude Bernard, directed the laboratory in physiology at Harvard. Here Cannon began his research. He used the newly discovered X-rays to study the mechanism of swallowing and the motility of the stomach. He demonstrated their glutition in a goose at the APS meeting in December 1896 and published his first paper on this research in the first issue of the American Journal of Physiology in January 1898. In 1945, Cannon summarized his career in physiology by describing his focus at different ages. Age 26 to 40, digestion and the bismuth meal. Age 40 to 46, bodily effects of emotional excitement. Age 46 to 51, wound shock investigations. Age 51 to 59, stable states of the organism. Age 59 to 68, chemical mediation of nerve impulses. Age 68 plus. Chemical sensitivity of nerve isolated organs, scientific contributions use of salts of heavy metals in X-rays He was one of the first researchers to mix salts of heavy metals into foodstuffs in order to improve the contrast of X-ray images of the digestive tract. The barium meal is a modern derivative of this research. Fight or flight in 1915, he coined the term fight or flight to describe an animal's response to threats in bodily changes in pain, hunger, 
Fear and Rage, an account of recent researches into the function of emotional excitement. Homeostasis He developed the concept of homeostasis from the earlier idea of Claude Bernard of Millier into Year, and popularized it in his book The Wisdom of the Body, 1932. Cannon presented four tentative propositions to describe the general features of homeostasis. Constancy in an open system, such as our bodies represent, requires mechanisms that act to maintain this constancy. Cannon based this proposition on insights into the ways by which steady states such as glucose concentrations, body temperature and acid-base balance were regulated. Steady state conditions require that any tendency toward change automatically meets with factors that resist change. An increase in blood sugar results in thirst as the body attempts to dilute the concentration of sugar in the extracellular fluid. The regulating system that determines the homeostatic state consists of a number of cooperating mechanisms acting simultaneously or successively. Blood sugar is regulated by insulin, glucagons, and other hormones that control its release from the liver or its uptake by the tissues. Homeostasis does not occur by chance, but is the result of organized self-government. Cannon Bard Theory Cannon developed the Cannon Bard Theory with physiologist Philip Bard to try to explain why people feel emotions first and then act upon them. Dry mouth He put forward the dry mouth hypothesis, stating that people get thirsty because their mouth gets dry. He did an experiment on two dogs. He cut their throats and inserted a small tube. Any water swallowed would go through their mouths and out by the tube, never reaching the stomach. He found out that these dogs would lap up the same amount of water as control dogs. Publication Cannon wrote several books and articles. 1910 A Laboratory Course in Physiology 1911 The Mechanical Factors of Digestion 1915 Bodily Changes in Pain, Hunger, Fear and Rage 1923, Traumatic Shock. 1931, Lazaro in the Pueblos. The story of Antonio de Espejo's expedition into New Mexico. 1932, The Wisdom of the Body. 1936, Digestion and Health. 1937, Autonomic Neuroaffector Systems, with Arturo Rosenbluth. 1942, Voodoo, Death. 1945 – The Way of an Investigator